You might be in that place where you are wondering what exactly is happening to your spiritual sensitivity. Before, you used to have high sensitive senses in the realm of the spirit and you could perceive things from your spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, and even your spiritual ability was very, very intense. But right now, all those things are things of the past and you're wondering what exactly went wrong and why, how did, what killed your spiritual sensitivity? Well, this video I'm about to teach you seven things that kills your spiritual sensitivity as a prophet or a seer. But please, if you're not subscribed, do it to subscribe, like this video, share, comment, so that every other person will be blessed by this particular video just like you'll be blessed. What are those things that kills your spiritual sensitivity as a Christian, a prophet, or a seer? <laughs> Number one on our list is inadequate prayer time. No matter how spiritual you are or how sensitive you are to the things of the spirit if you do not sustain your spiritual senses in the place of prayer it will definitely die with time now the place of prayer is a place that refines your spiritual abilities which means if you have spiritual senses it begins to sharpen in the place of prayer now when you as a person do not create adequate time to sharpen the spiritual senses you end up blunting them up and when they blunt up all of a sudden, those abilities that we are open to you just begin to go down naturally because you have failed to sharpen those senses in the place where they're supposed to sharpen. When a seer or prophet or a general Christian is failing in the aspect of his prayer life, that Christian is the Christian that will also fail in every single spiritual understanding or spiritual provisions or spiritual abilities that comes with prayer. Prayer, prayer is Prayer is the engine room that beds spiritual things. So if you must sustain spiritual things or your sensitive, sensitivity in the realm of the spirit, then you must first of all bow your knees always in the place of prayer. Now number two is sin. Now when I'm talking about sin, I don't mean you must have done one great sin or something like that. But when there are little things that you know you are struggling with, the best is to handle it with God. But when you ignore those things and just move on with the spiritual the way they are, you realize that the first thing those little forces attack is your ability to be sensitive in the realm of the spirit. Let me tell you the simple truth. A person that is still struggling with some certain things will find it very difficult to be sensitive in the spirit. Reason being that sin has a way of blocking your access from the things of God. Yes, the first thing little sins does to your spirituality is to block those genuine access that opens the doors to spiritual understanding now when you are a person who is struggling with different different things in your spirituality and you have failed to work on those things with God you just ignore them and let them go like that you will every time you will realize that those things will form a big mountain inside of your spirit and to kill the sensitivity you have now every Christian pride in his spiritual antenna now when your spiritual antenna that is erected on the altar of purity is now being suffocated by a junkie of sin you will realize that the ability for that particular antenna to be effective will be very very slim it's just like the dstv dish all of that when the weather is very cloudy sometimes it affects the connection now this weather has to do with the sin when the atmosphere of your heart is clouded with sin you realize that it affects the connection of the spirit and this in turn affects your ability to get information now as a prophet you must operate on the realm of purity because that is the specific dimension to keeping a direct flow with the things of the spirit now number three on our spirit is lousy spirit number three on our list is what lousy spirit now when you are a person that is called the prophetic or a general christian that understands spiritual sensitivity they don't have any right to be lousy they don't have any right to have lousy spirit now lousy spirit is a spirit that is always too busy never hearing god now when your spirit is always too busy with different different situations that might not even profit you generally or might not have maximum profit over you you will realize that your spirit will fail to become sensitive now when your spirit is too lousy your see, sensitivity and lousiness does not go together sensitivity in the realm of the spirit goes with genuine calmness of the spirit that bets an atmosphere of meditation now when you are a sensitive person you get to begin to pick information and details just like in the natural setting Every sensitive man or woman picks information, which means you have to be in a place of calmness to be able to pick this specific information. Now, when you are always lousy, always talking, I'm not disputing the part of being a sanguine, but there's something called the spirit control temperament. When you are a person, you are always too loud, 
and there is no place to pay attention to spiritual things you will realize that before before you even begin to to, to to realize that you have gone far from being spiritually sensitive you have already lost the dimension of understanding that you should have gotten reason be that you are too loud now some of you have to pitch down the way you talk your conversations your chatting abilities you have to create genuine time for god to hear him and be sensitive sometimes god is trying to point things with the environment to you but because you are too carried away with conversations that do not profit you you will realize that you are unable to pick that information from the atmosphere because you are too lousy now some of you have to pitch down and stop being too loud i'm not saying you should not talk but you have to stop being too loud if you must maintain your spiritual sensitivity now the next thing on our list is ignore ignoring ignoring now most of the times every spiritual sensitive person gets to pick information from different different situations now sometimes you will pick this information from things that do not even look like they should have ordinarily given you information but when you are in a constant habit of ignoring this revelational information or ignoring this heavenly divine information you will only realize that you will end up not having access to spiritual things and with time you will kill your spiritual sensitivity now when god when you are spiritually sensitive when god activates your hearing senses your eye your ability to see your ability to hear your ability to perceive it is because god wants you to be vigilant to perceive and to see and to hear information that are around you all right god wants to, to, to be able to perceive see or hear information that are around you now when god begins to drop this particular information to your spirit and you as an individual is on a constant always ignoring these informations god has a certain point to stop bringing them then you have to give it to someone else who is ready to hear them that is where you begin to say ah, my visions all of a sudden stopped you begin to hear things like i can't i used to hear before but i cannot hear anymore i used to perceive but i can't perceive anymore because the perceptions and the visions and the hearings that god has given to you what is happening to you do with them you did absolutely nothing with them you ended up ignoring them and distorting revelational agenda of god and the things that god was supposed to do through you or do or help a particular person through you you didn't because of your ignorance or ignoring those informations you ended up destroying those things or people ended up suffering now god would not want a situation where because of a particular child other children are suffering he would rather give that information to somebody that is ready to carry it and this because every single access to spiritual sensitive information you get opens doors to more spiritual understandings and this helps you grow spiritually now when you are now intentionally ignoring these things and you and god stop giving you access to these things it only hinders your spiritual growth and which in turn would definitely affect the spiritual sensitivity. Now, when we're talking about spiritual sensitivity, I want you to understand that we have the vision, the hearing abilities, and the seeing abilities. Now, vision abilities are very important. So, persons are visualized, so persons hear, and so persons perceive. Now, there are some specific things actually that can affect your vision. Now, if you're a person who is intentional with vision, a person who God gives visions to, then this particular one I'm about to mention is for you. Now, what are those specific things that affect your vision? Number one on our list is spiritual junk. Spiritual junks. Spiritual, see, when I'm talking about spiritual junks, what are spiritual junks? Spiritual junks are those things that do not form a basis of a balanced diet spiritually. They might not be seen, but they're not balanced diet. Now, this will specifically affect your vision. What, what example of those things are movies. Movies are beautiful. I see movies too. Movies are beautiful. But when you are constantly always seeing movies that do not edify, this will in turn affect your visionary abilities in the realm of the spirit. Now why? Because you see movies with your eyes. That is correct. And you begin to also hear the sound from the movies with your ears. Now visions, you visualize with your, your, your spiritual eyes. And also you hear, you hear those things with your spiritual ears. Now when your spiritual eyes is when your physical eyes rather is beclouded with visionary abilities that do not edify it end up has been a way of affecting the spiritual sensitivity of the spiritual eye that you should have been using to see visions now these are the two things these are how, how it happens now when you are prone to watching specific kind of movies that you know do not edify you these images are trapped inside of you and they end up affecting 
eating the spiritual ones because yes whether you like it or not your spiritual eyes are connected to your physical that is why sometimes when god is giving you revelations through visions you see environment that you have seen before you see objects that you have seen before that god can use to relate to that specific circumstances in order to bear the particular result god wants to show to you now that is how connected they are now when you are in a constant ability of always seeing movies that do not edify it has a way of affecting your visionary abilities it also has a way of affecting your hearing abilities now this can explain why each time you want to print or seeing visions you are seeing romantic movies now this explains those those things now those things are trapped inside of you and you have to intentionally work on them if you must sharpen your visions if you must Taking that spiritual sensitivity, you have to work on them. Now, there are movies also that has a way of triggering your spiritual abilities. There are there are movies that should edify you. These movies will help you. There are things to imagine. There are books to read that triggers your imaginary abilities of the spirit. There are spiritual books that you'll be reading. Why are you reading it? You're imagining angelic things. And this has a way of sharpening the spiritual sensitivity of your visions. Because of those informations you have. So those access, those information you are you, you, you access or you unveil yourself to determines how how your spiritual abilities will become open or will become suppressed. Now the last one, the second to last is poor spiritual confidence now when you have poor spiritual confidence when god reveals the particular thing to you and you are not even sure and at, at the same time you're like this might not be god and you have, you have high poor spiritual confidence and this this generally affects the way of which you treat this message god has given to you you will only realize that you would not get maximum results and at the end of the day those spiritual things will stop coming because you're not confident enough to project the information now you have to build spiritual confidence sometimes you will make mistakes sometimes you will interpret wrongly but we only see in part say the scripture and we prophesy in part now you have to realize that this spiritual confidence you have to build it you have to be confident of what god is telling you now when god speaks to you you have to be confident that god is talking to me now this confidence has a way of sharpening those abilities because when you have Gone out there to dish out information based on how God has given to you, how God has spoken to you, you will realize that this confidence will keep on triggering the other things to begin to flow. What you suppress, you don't see. And what you keep on suppressing, we keep on going down. But what you open room for envelops you. Then the last on our list, the number seven on our list, is non usage. What you don't use must definitely go down. What you don't use will definitely go down. So be, be, be free to practicalize with your spiritual senses. We are perceiving some. If I right now I'm perceiving that there is somebody who is seeing this particular video right now. I mean, you gave a life to Christ three years ago, and uh, uh, within those three years you gave a life to Christ. It has been well, but last two years you fell into a particular sin. Yes, you fell into a particular sin that. Is that has affected your spiritual understanding and abilities. Now, that, that thing you are still battling with the guilt of that particular thing, and it has affected you so deeply. You know you are called into the prophetic ministry, but based on that thing that you went through, you have refused to come out of the guilt, and that's affected you so greatly. That right now, even watching this video, you are, you are even almost shedding tears. I want you to understand that God has forgiven you, and because God has forgiven you, God wants you to come into the reality of His forgiveness and justification by faith, and embrace the sonship that you are. This message to, is to someone out there. So you have to use what God has given to you. Just like right now, I felt it in my spirit. I I, I could perceive it. I could perceive it in my spirit that the person I'm talking about is knows knows herself. I could perceive it in my spirit. I could perceive it right now. I could perceive it in my spirit. So that is just it. You use this energy. When the energy comes, you use them. You don't suppress them. You use them. If you want it to multiply, then you keep using it. Yes, you keep. If, and like I told the woman, borrow out a few, fear the vessels. So if you want this your spiritual sensitivity to increase, then learn to be sensitive. Learn the act of being sensitive. When God gives you something to be sensitive about, be genuinely sensitive about that thing. If it's an information to convey, convey that information with wisdom. Pray about it. Don't just let it go like that. Be bothered about the situation. Get the result from God. And God will definitely expand dimensions through you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you have not subscribed up to this point, do where to subscribe, to like, to share, to comment. So I've been notified of all amazing videos I post per week that will bless your life. Don't forget to come back next time I post another video because you will surely be blessed. God bless you. I love you.